Hi everybody, welcome to the Becky and Boca Show. Are you interested in losing weight? Are you interested in improving your posture? Are you interested in feeling better from head to toe, not only physically, but also mentally? This is advanced care physical therapy, but it's so much more than that. This is a place you come to feel good. And it's located on my favorite street in Boca Raton, Plaza Real South. It's right across from Chops Lobster Bar. So it's in a beautiful location. We've got right in the heart of downtown Boca Raton. We've got some wonderful people to introduce you to in here. So come on in. Today I am going to chat with four very talented, very educated practitioners within this multidisciplinary practice who can have a profound impact on your life. Okay, I am with Dr. Raphael Mastov, Doctor of Physical Therapy. So I specialize in neuromuscular, musculoskeletal physical therapy. Okay. Uh, people who have all kinds of back pain, neck pain, whether it's uh, whether you're an adult or a child. And I know um, as people get older and they're still very active like they are in Boca Raton, you see people out running, you see people working out a lot, and everybody's stiff and sore. And there are various problems that go with that. Can you help with that type of problem? Absolutely, yes. Okay. When they come out, they come out with minimal to no pain at all and able to resume to their previous functional activities. And I'm gonna ask you now about back pain. Yes. Because everybody I know has back pain. And in a lot of people, it's chronic. How do you help that? With the back pain, I have a mechanical three-dimensional decompression therapy. I do a lot of mobilization and manipulation adjustments to the back with the help of electrical modalities, myofascial release, and a deep tissue type of work. Okay. Massage is very important to do that manual myofascial release. Okay. If you have neck pain, back pain, if you have knee problems, after uh, surgeries, post-op surgeries, I work on mostly manual work with hands-on. For example, uh, pediatric population, if uh, kids are born with muscular dystrophies or any of the cerebral palsy type of uh, pathologies, I specifically work. I do manual work. We do a lot of electrical modalities, okay. uh, which includes uh, electrical stimulation, ultrasound, laser treatment, magnet therapy. It's a very intellect electrical stimulation modality. It does many functions, including electrical stimulation, uh, ultrasound and laser at the same time. Oh, we could do combination. The okay. ultrasound it actually penetrates through the deeper tissues into specific areas. So does the laser. The laser is a whole different concept about uh, its objectives, but it's very very good to take off the inflammation, to minimize the inflammation, to diminish the pain level, increases blood circulation into the area, and it's overall pain reduction modality. So we have what's called in-body testing. Very important testing. It's to test uh, body water analysis, whether you have a visceral fat, whether you have a body fat, and that modality itself is very important tool to identify what kind of problem you have or it's causing, and based on that, we could come up with a proper diagnosis and a treatment plan. This is a uh, ultrasound with a handheld device. The ultrasound has certain magnet effects that penetrates through a very, very deep tissue modality. Okay. okay. All right, well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank very you. interesting, I learned a lot. And uh, Thank you very much. I'm sure a lot of my viewers will be very uh, interested and want to come in and see you. Yes, definitely. Okay. All right, thank All you. Right. Okay, now I am with Dr. Christine Schleter, chiropractor, and I'm gonna let her tell us a little bit about what she does. Hello, my name is Dr. Christine Schleter. I'm a chiropractor. I primarily deal with the spine. Okay. Posture, number one. Oh, yes. I try so hard, but I do know if I'm sitting on my computer, I end up just slouching. All right, so All right here I am. All right, I'm your friend. <laughs> All right, now here I am. Totally Literally. different. Right, totally different. It's the presentation that yes. opens up the spine. It allows the brain to communicate through the spinal cord more optimally. Right. It's just prettier. Walk into a room and uh, have better posture. Not only are you going to live in less pain, right? you're going to decrease your arthritis. So what is the number one reason people are in wheelchairs in retirement homes or in general? It's arthritis. 
in my opinion, as a chiropractor, you can slow down arthritis. You can stop arthritis. And you can, in my opinion, reverse it. That's why I call what I do anti-aging. You see people walking around Boca Raton as they get older, they start to walk, you know, you know what I mean? They, they look old. I Can that it, be corrected? Well, number one, I call it, uh, it's like they're climbing to their grave. Um, I hate to say that, but it is because you're putting so much pressure on your spine. As we get older, when the posture starts to go, I feel like everything starts to go. You know, it's, it's the, you want to walk like a three-year-old. And with chiropractic stretching and some of the other therapy, including nutrition, of course, you're going to have actually anti-aging of your spine. A lot of people are on the cell phone. Look at that neck. It changes the pressure on your bones. It causes arthritis and stuff. Watch people in the streets. You'll see them with their neck. But I am not only going to treat you and work with that to help correct that. By correcting that, it's also helping you with your life. That is the anti-aging part. It's getting you out of the grave and up, looking up and being um, young and more youthful looking, more youthful appearing. This is very exciting, yes. <laughs> I totally agree with <laughs> yeah, you on that. If we could change that in a lot of people as they age, it, it would be such an improvement. Yes, you're absolutely right. If you just walk down the street, I don't care how buff some guy will be, you'll see him with his neck way out in yes. front of him. We have to correct that. That's putting pressure on your spinal cord, okay? This is your spinal cord. Right. So the idea is getting the curve back in the Wait, neck. There are some exercises that I'd be willing to teach you if you want to come in. You can also reverse some of these conditions. Bone grows. Wow. Yes, bone grows according to the pressure put on it. And definitely you can reverse pain. And that's something that I specialize in with my chiropractic stretching. I do deep tissue trigger points. I call it neuromuscular therapy, but it's, it's not like a spa thing. It's, it's very specific. If you have knee pain, I'm focusing on your knee. So it would be a hands-on deep tissue treatment to your knee, to your shoulder. It's, it's not like a massage soothing thing. This is my greatest skill is my hands. I do neuromuscular therapy using deep tissue trigger points. I implement stretching, range of motion exercises, and I give you tools to take home with you. Okay, the other thing you talked about that interests me is stretching. Yes. Because I know as we age, we don't realize how helpful that is. When you come here, you get stretched. And um, I've worked on top athletes that don't stretch. They get stretched. In my opinion, with chiropractic stretching and some of the other therapy, including nutrition, of course, you're going to have actually anti-aging of your spine. Just any pain you have, that I can help you out with. So you have a little herniated disc here. I have techniques to help relieve pressure off these discs. Anybody that's had back pain or a herniated disc knows that that pain on those nerves can be terrible, so, sort of like a toothache. So I have techniques to help also in, in my practice. I love cold laser. Over here is my cold laser machine. You may have heard of it. Cold laser is one of the newer therapies. Laser is one of the modalities that penetrates the deepest into the tissues. So by going deeper, it actually penetrates through the walls of the cells. So say you have an injury. You need blood in there. You need nutrients in there. <clears throat> You need energy and you need protein. Protein is the building block for cartilage, right? So the, the cold laser actually brings in more energy to the ATP, so you have more energy. It helps the production of ribosomes, which are the proteins, to build cartilage. It's been shown to increase range of motion and strength post-treatment. Cold laser is one of the best modalities available. I also use ultrasound electrical stimulation, but more on a rare basis. My primary techniques involve my hands, doing trigger points, stretching. I've worked on a lot of athletes <clears throat> and I can help you. I would love to answer any of your questions. So if any of you ever want to call me, my phone number is 954-234-4420. My name is Dr. Christine. You can call me anytime. You can text me. I answer text very well, and I would, I'll help you with any questions you have, and I'll assist you whether you're my patient or not. So thank you very much for your time. Okay, now I'm with Natalie Ghostanker, integrative health coach, and I'm going to let her tell us what she does. 
My name is Natalie and uh, I am a scientist by training and uh, integrative health coach, nutritional counselor, bioenergetic healthcare practitioner and psyche facilitator. I help clients achieve their health goals by um, using different principles of um, human biology, uh, energy medicine, energy psychology and um, uh, nutritional biochemistry. Oh, so you can help someone lose weight? Is that one of the... Oh yeah, absolutely. First of all, mind um, plays a great role in uh, holding certain beliefs, limiting beliefs, what we call, that prevents us from um, achieving our goals, let's say. So if somebody um, had some traumatic experience around, let's say, eating disorder, uh, in the past or uh, in the family food uh, was uh, a big struggle we create certain uh, beliefs about that and um, body is so intelligent uh, that the innately it holds on to fat and we cannot we cannot lose it wow more than that it's a lot of uh, social pressure nowadays uh, in schools uh, with uh, even young kids that uh, you know look at models and what want to look and feel a certain way and um, they start you know um, following certain diets from the very early age which metabolically is very wrong for them trying to trick the body but it's impossible to trick the body the body will will literally do whatever it needs to do to oh. keep you safe and then how we uh, end up gaining weight and uh, feeling not the best. And so you're saying people that do these starvation diets or maybe bulimia or anorexia absolutely it just are causes it just causing co more problems. It in the causes future? more problems in the in the future. That's why um, I uh, try not to stick to diets uh, to particular type like of, di of diet, but to work more holistically with the body looking at uh, many aspects of health in order to help them to really lose weight if that's why they came to see me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it incorporates a lot of things starting of course with the building blocks of nutrition, obviously eating burger with Coca-Cola uh, every day will not help us much. Hydration, oxygenation, adequate movement, now stress optimization and management really, it's a big one, uh, Sleep, sleeping enough, in, enough at night. All okay. of these things factor into a person's inability to lose weight? Absolutely. And look at oh. the environmental toxicity, let's say. We accumulate all these herbicides and pesticides and all these chemicals in the, in the food uh, as preservatives that uh, actually accumulate toxins in the body. And toxin is a preventative mechanism for us not to lose weight because it accumulates in our fat cells. Okay, so when someone comes to see you for weight loss, do you put them on a diet or what do you do? Basically to... at the core of my practice, I use uh, a bioenergetic system, which is called NAS Health. This is quantum electrodynamic system. Uh, basically uh, what it does, it looks at the trends in the body on the energetic level before they manifest themselves on the chemical level, mm. uh, which can be uh, basically um, detected on blood tests, let's say, or structural exam, or even scans like MRI, um, X-rays, or CAT scans, or stuff like that. So this, this system allows me to um, basically look inside the body. Of course, I, I take very detailed questionnaire of what uh, people eat, but uh, before we even go into the details of that, I look at um, lifestyle. Uh, I look at family situation. So I put a lot of attention to the mental, emotional um, health of a person. Mm -hmm. Body, mind, the spirit, and basically help us to restore an innate ability of the body to heal itself and then of course lose weight. It could be a variety of things that mm -hmm. can keep us from uh, achieving actually the weight loss that uh, we so much want. Oh, this is very exciting because I don't know anybody that's happy with their weight. <laughs> so it's nice to know that we don't just need to go on another fat diet. My um, journey f coming from uh, conventional medicine, because I'm a scientist, immunologist, I mm -hmm. worked in a lab for many years mm. before actually coming um, to deal with my own uh, health issues, uh, where I realized that, you know, conventional model of um, diet in particular, but in general, not always have all the answers. We have to look at the body as a whole, and only then we can achieve the happiness mm -hmm. and uh, true sort of goal that we want to achieve. I'm so passionate about what I do, and um, basically, again, coming from my path, um, 
I just learned that no matter how precise I am with the nutritional diagnosis and assessment, if mine doesn't follow, we cannot reach sustainable results. And I used to work as a nutritionist in a psychological clinic in London because I spent 18 years of my career in London, uh, where I actually saw that um, the way we think, it affects our way of functioning and the way we look at ourselves in the mirror. So it's very important to combine all this uh, and make out of it, not, uh, uh, looking good is not only about what we eat, it's what we feed our physical body with, and of course what we feed our emotional body with. Mm -hmm. Okay, I learned something today that's, uh, that's very intriguing and I'm sure my viewers are gonna be very interested. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, now I am with Francisca Gonzalez, massage therapist and she speaks Spanish, so we're gonna have Rafael translate for her. Yes. Okay. So, what type of massage do you do? Massage, hago drenaje linfático, terapéutico, que es una mezcla de técnicas. Hago también eh, para dolores específicos, generalmente son para la espalda baja, alta y cuello. Y eso. Okay. So, she does a very deep tissue massage, therapeutic massage, lymphatic oh, drainage massage, okay. full body lymphatic drainage massage. She's very good with the deep tissue massage, especially when it goes alternative pulmonary type of massage. She's very good. What she, does that mean? Uh, when she uses uh, both of her palms to mm -hmm. do the massage, and her experience comes with from Chile. Okay. She's been a massage therapist for many years in Chile. Okay. Okay, so what type of problems can you handle? Like I know I'm always achy, back everywhere, shoulders. Back, um, problema. Sí, uh, I understand. Um, problemas de cuello, tortícolis, um, dolores lumbares, dolores de espalda alta, um, algunos tipos de dolores estomacales también, um, insomnio, mm. dolores de cabeza, Puedo aliviar con los masajes y en general todos los problemas relacionados con el estrés. General, she says, uh, general massage for the whole body. If you have back pain, neck pain, leg pain, she does also stomach type of massage after surgery. What is that? Stomach? Uh, it's a, it's like inlining for the stomach when you have, uh, for example, tummy tuck. After tummy tuck, she, she stretches out the oh. sutures or whatever the after surgery, mm -hmm. so there's no like sticky substances there. Interesting, okay. Yes, she, she does that. Any type of pain that you have, she provides that myofascial type of release pain, massage. Okay, one thing I like about massage, and maybe you can explain why this is, after I get a massage, I just feel great. Overall euphoria. So what does that massage do to bring that out? Después del masaje hay un bienestar, una sensación de felicidad muy grande porque al hacer el masaje en el cuerpo se estimulan varios meridianos energéticos y los terminales linfáticos, entonces el cuerpo se estimula en general. Hay una estimulación y una oxigenación distinta del cuerpo. So you would feel basically from the massage that you're going to get it increases blood circulation. When you have a good blood circulation, you have that circadian rhythm, you will feel relaxed. And relaxation is very important for the state of our mind. That way, when, once you relax, your muscles get relaxed, and obviously if you relax, there's no pain. Yes. That okay. type of uh, massage she provides, Francisca. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else you would like to say? Um, me gustaría decir que Los masajes, la gente viene por un masaje generalmente, pero sería ideal que la gente tomara el hábito de hacer un masaje a la semana o dos, porque ahí es realmente efectivo. Uno lo ve, eh, se ve mejor el tratamiento, porque viene una persona, se hace un masaje y se va contenta, pero es como que hay que tomar un hábito de hacerse un masaje, uno a la semana mínimo. She has a good, positive vibe. 
good energy and if you have a good energy she transfers that energy through her massage to you so you could feel better i, I love massage that's i think that's just as important as any strictly medical procedure mm -hmm. as far as i'm concerned because you get a massage and you, you just feel wonderful for uh -huh. for days <laughs> see you know it really improves mentally Same. not only physically uh -huh. so Same. one of my favorite things <laughs> okay all right well thank, thank you. you very much thank you okay everybody i have to say this was one of the most interesting shows to me that i've ever done i did not have any idea all the things i was going to learn everything from how to lose weight to how to improve your posture to the importance of stretching the importance of massage mind body connection everything is here and we all want to feel better on a daily basis and i really believe this is the place to start so thanks for joining me on this episode of the becky and boca show see you next week <laughs>